for continuing the protest in a democratic way. Unfortunately, today, I have some sad news. The treasurer of 1891, Lord William Young, right, has passed away. And also, a friend, a very good friend of this, dem this democratic protest, Ruth Patterson's father, also passed away. I would ask you now to observe a minute's silence. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I now call upon Brethren and friends, um, next Tuesday the Parades Commission will make a determination in regards to the request by the lodges and band to return up to Ballysillan and to Leganil. And I think it's therefore incumbent on us today on this particular day of demonstration before they make that determination they set out very clearly the reasons why there is only one right determination that they could possibly make. Next Tuesday, they have the opportunity to do the right thing. Next Tuesday, I believe they also have the responsibility to do the right thing. So it's incumbent on us to send clearly the message to them why they should do the right thing. Several weeks ago, they made another determination, and in it, they gave the reasons why. And it was one of the first things that struck me, the fact that they did give reasons. They said it, their reasons why they made the decision that they did. They said that on that occasion, a procession could not go up the road because, first of all, the cycle base, the Shiro d'Italia, was taking place on that day. Secondly, they said it couldn't happen on that day because there were elections coming up. And thirdly, the third reason they gave was that there was a need for engagement. Now, if we look at those three reasons, it's quite clear that whatever, and I don't accept the validity of them, but whatever the validity in their eyes some weeks ago, there is no validity to any of those reasons today. First of all, the cycle race has come and gone. That's out of the picture, that's one of their three issues dealt with. Secondly, the elections have come and gone, they're out of the way, that issue has been dealt with. And the only thing left was that third reason, where they said that there was a need for engagement. Well, I always find it strange when they talk about need for engagement. Because when you think about it, I can remember going to the very first meeting of the North and West Belfast Parade Sport. I think it was about 10 years ago up in Farson. And I never imagined that 10 years on from then there would still be requests and suggestions that there was a need for engagement. Because for the past 10 years, the Protestant Unionist, Loyalist and Orange community has been engaging. The reluctance, the recalcitrance, has been on the part not of our community, but on that of the opposing community, the Nationalist and Republican community. But here is an opportunity now, when those three issues have been dealt with, when the two events are out of the way, when there has been ample engagement and ongoing engagement, here's the opportunity for the Commission to resolve the situation and to make the right decision this time. The last commission, by its arrogance, prohibited the Brethren and the Van from returning up to the Crumlin Road to Ligonil. Thereby, they rewarded the intransigence and the violence of Republicans in the previous year of 2012. And thereby, they not only rewarded it, but they encouraged them and hence you have people like Dee Fennell saying, well, 
our ways have paid off. We managed to get evening parades dealt with. Now let's start on the morning ones. In other words, that last commission rewarded and encouraged the most extreme, the most violent, the most intransigent, the most intolerant section of the nationalist community. And they disempowered everyone else. The message today has to be to this new commission, don't be bound by the arrogance and the folly of the past. Make the right decision, do the right decision, do the right thing, because there is absolutely no valid argument to be made against it. With this commission, we have to say, there can be no place on Tuesday for weakness. They must not allow themselves to be bullied, to be badgered, to be browbeaten by the most extreme elements of republicanism and nationalism, and by their spurious, fraudulent arguments. Nationalists are arguing that last year, this is the, the, the only thing they're now arguing, they're saying last year a decision was taken and almost that was it set in stone. That's the way it was and that's the way it should ever be. Well that's one of the daftest, stupid arguments that anyone could possibly come up with. And it amazes me that when they went in there with their lawyers and all the rest, they were relying on something that was so deeply and obviously fraudulent. Because if you took that position, that when something happens at set in stone, you wouldn't be going back to last year or even the year before. You could go back 10 years or 20 years or 30 years and say that that was set in stone. I don't believe there is any possible argument left. They've run out of ground, they've run out of room, they've run out of arguments. And our plea today must be to the Braves Commission. This is the opportunity. The focus is on you. Don't be bound by the arrogance and the folly of that last commission and the stupidity of its decisions. Do the right thing, take the opportunity, take the responsibility, seize the opportunity and accept the fact that the Brethren and the Lodges and the band have the absolute democratic right to return up the road to where they came from, to Ballysillan, to Ligonil. If we're seeking, and people talk about some sort of sharing, well let's see that road as a shared road. Let's not pander to those who would seek to ban every orange foot from the Crumlin Road. Let's accept the right of brethren and bandsmen to use the Crumlin Road for five minutes on one day in the year. Is that too much to ask? Our plea today has to be the Braves Commission. Think about it. Don't be bullied. Don't miss the opportunity. Don't fall short. But accept and endorse the right of the brethren to make their way home to Ligony next week. Thank you very much. And I